bacteria in the mouth cause uh, two distinct types of dental problems. One is decay. This is a destruction of the hard uh, surfaces of the teeth, the outer enamel, and possibly the underlying uh, dentin, which is also hard. Severe decay, of course, can uh, lead uh, to uh, the death of a tooth and could uh, ultimately cause uh, the tooth uh, to be extracted or uh, would require uh, a root canal treatment to try to save the tooth. So a decay attacks the tooth itself. Tooth decay is due to the interrelations of three factors in the mouth. The first factor is the amount of bacteria that's present. Bacteria produce acids and enzymes that attack the tooth structures and cause the breakdown uh, of the enamel and underlying dentin, and you know that as a dental cavity. The more bacteria that are present, the more likely uh, a, a cavity will form. The second factor, though, involves the hardness of the enamel. The harder the enamel, uh, the more resistant it is to uh, attack by bacteria. The last factor involves the amount of sugar available for the bacteria to use. The more frequently sugar comes into the mouth, the more active the bacteria will be. The other problem that could arise from bacteria in the mouth is gum disease. Bacteria can collect just under the little cuff of tissue that runs all the way around each tooth. And in its earliest uh, stages, gum uh, inflammation is known as uh, gingivitis, and it's easily treated by cleaning the teeth and maintaining cleanliness on a daily basis at home. But when the uh, bacteria then, begin to increase in numbers, and uh, calcify. Uh, the uh, bone and underlying ligament that's holding the tooth into position uh, deteriorate. The tooth then could ultimately loosen and be lost. Uh, in that case, a patient would uh, be said to have severe periodontal disease.